Good day, Tutor LMS users. Today, we are going to be talking about the design settings of our favorite Tutor LMS. So, let's get started. First up, we have the option to change the Course Builder page logo. So, we can upload an image here. So, this picture, if you're wondering, will show up on the top left of the front end Course Builder, as we can see right here. Moving on, we have a bunch of features that we can tinker with here and all of these will be affecting the course list page on the front end. So we can set the number of columns to display in the column per row option. So let's go ahead and set it to 2. Then we can decide to turn on or off the course filter of the course details page. So let's go ahead and turn this on. After that, we can change how many courses we want to display per page on the course list page before a user has to go to the next page. So we're going to go ahead and set it to six. And lastly, we can toggle which specific course filters we want to show on our course filter that we turned on earlier. So let's select keyword search, category, and price type. Okay, so now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and hit save changes. And let's take a look at what all of this actually looks like on the front end. So now we're on the course list page and we can see that there are only two courses being displayed per column. Since we set it up to be two, then we have the course filter by the left and only the filter types we selected are showing up here. Lastly, we can see that we have exactly six courses on this page and to go to the next course, we have to go to the second page. This is of course because we set it up to show six courses per page. Up next, we can set how we want the instructor list layout to look like. So go ahead and set it to however you prefer. After that, we can set the layout for the instructor's public profile. Making a change here would affect the instructor's public profile page. So let's go ahead and set it to minimal. And then we can see that since we have set the layout to be minimal, this is what the layout looks like. The next option is the same as whatever layout you select here will affect a student's public profile on your site. Alright, so now we come to the course details section of the design settings. So there's a lot to take in here, but trust us, it's very simple. The toggles themselves are very self-explanatory where you can either choose to toggle on or off a specific option. So let's say we decided to turn on Q&A, Instructor Info, Material, and um, let's say Progress Bar. So now, since these toggles are on, on the Course Details page, we can see that we get the added tabs corresponding to the toggles. If we then turn them off, they will simply not appear. So all of the toggles here work in exactly the same way. So toggle to show or hide the options basically. All right, so moving on, we have the option to tweak the preset colors of Tutor LMS. So if we go ahead and select ocean, then on the front end, we can notice that the colors of the buttons and some of the UI also changes with it. You can customize it to your liking and how you see fit. We can already tell that the entire design settings is basically for the customization of your site visually and functionally as well. And lastly, we have two toggles to turn on the tutor player for YouTube or Vimeo videos. So if you prefer to have your students use the tutor player for videos, then you can go ahead and turn these two on. Well, that's it everyone. We hope that this tutorial helped you out and as always like this video if you found it helpful and of course comment down below if you have any questions. Bye bye.